Hard work pays off. Find a tenth here. Shave a second there. It all adds up. Despite their grueling schedule, Subaru Rally Team USA has found speed on every step of the journey, leading them to their first Global Rallycross silver medal on the biggest stage of the season. The bar is always rising. Expectations for themselves lifting. But in Global Rallycross, any number of things can go wrong just as much as they can go right. What will Lady Luck throw their way today? Regardless, drivers ready, cars ready, and go. This is Launch Control. The nation's capital, Washington, D.C. High power politics meet high power racing. Seeding for round three of the Red Bull Global Rallycross Series is underway, and the Subaru team is still riding high from its second place finish at X Games. The car's ready to go, drop it down, do a couple rebound clicks on it, and then it's ready to go. We had a good finish at X Games, and we're looking to continue that, and looking forward to getting on this D.C. track. Subarus have proven their speed and pose a real threat to the competition. Sfera is on pace and setting fast times. But it's Bucky Lassick who is lighting up the track. He's second fastest in qualifying. Uh, it's good to have a fast, uh, fastest time. It's going better and better. Overall, I think uh, I'm happy, of course, when they are, when they are in that end, uh, I'm happy. Deep in the woods of the Eiffel Forest in Germany, rests the legendary Nürburgring Nordschleife track. Coined the Green Hell, this 15-mile ribbon of tarmac has seen some of the most grueling races known to man. It is bumpy, has over 170 turns, and climbs the equivalent of the Empire State Building every lap. The Nordschleife, uh, the Nürburgring, is uh, one of a kind. It's just a thrill to drive. Over 200 cars take the start at 4 p.m. on Saturday. Only half will finish. The team prepares all year for this challenge and has won twice in recent years. But after finishing second in class last year, they have brought the new 2015 WRX STI here to win. In qualifying, the team snags pole position in its class. They seem like two completely different races. One strings on for 24 hours, and the other runs for mere minutes. Different tasks, perhaps, but both teams are taking cars from the factory floor modifying them to race at the extremes. Preliminary heats begin in DC, and Bucky's number 81 pounces off the line into the lead. These heats are important, but not critical. They determine tomorrow's grid position and are good for gaining confidence. I'm a 
Friday. Go fight. I want to be in the final. Sfera's number 11 Subaru also rips off a line. There is no doubt the team is on pace. And in a sport where starts are crucial, Subaru Rally Team USA has put themselves in the right position. For the STI team, a traditional Japanese prayer is the final moment of calm before the pomp and ceremony of the 24-hour race begins. Hundreds of thousands of fans line the track and the start grid. There's a big build up to the race. When you have the car at the front at the 24 hour race, it doesn't really matter where you start. It's the beginning of a 24 hour test of endurance and speed. In the forest, spectators have been camped out all week at their favorite turn, waiting. Six hours pass, well beyond the length of a normal road race, but only a fraction of this race is complete. In these first hours, the team falls into a rhythm. Every hour and a half, the car comes in for fuel and a driver change. From this rhythm comes structure and confidence, which in turn helps them deal with chaos when it inevitably arises. For the moment, the chaos comes further down pit lane. Subaru's main competitor arrives, leaving behind a trail of gravel. He's been off the track. As midnight passes, consistent laps now put the STI team in the class lead. Back in DC, Sunday's race day is upon us. The race format leaves little room for error if the team hopes to get a strong result. I'm one of those guys that I do good one race. I want to prove that I have the speed to continue doing good and show everyone that it wasn't just luck. But both Subarus find themselves in the same semifinal. Off the line, both Subarus jockey for position. Bucky holds down third while Spera chases in fourth. The battle requires restraint, but they know they have to avoid heavy contact that could cause a DNF. Sfera makes a clean pass on Bucky using the Joker. Bucky is then under attack from Tanner Faust. scrambles to get Bucky's car ready for the LCQ. It is so hard it broke the wheel and broke the tie rod end and a uh, Racing at night is its own challenge. There are no braking references or sight lines. The fans light the forest with their campfires and party lights. And there are some spots you get blinded by the fireworks, the lights of the fans. So it's, it's just crazy. But your headlights show only the immediate future and little else.
But in the calm of the night, harsh reality can give you the rudest of wake-up calls. Just before sunrise, it does. The STI makes an unscheduled return to the pits. Contact with a slower moving competitor turns Subaru's race upside down. Time slips away, along with the lead. Rising sun brings hope that the end is approaching, but the race is only just past the halfway point. There is still time for the pendulum to swing and Subaru to make up the time they lost overnight. As cars continue to roar by, the remnants of last night's party remain. Only the diehard race fans are awake at this hour. Another driver change comes and goes with no drama. Fatigue starts to take over the crew, but they fight on. This is not an outside race team hired to run the program. Each crew member either works full time at STI or has been selected from a dealer mechanic program. The same heart and passion that fuels the Vermont sports car team can be found here in the racing soul of each and every member of STI. At every GRC event, the outcome always comes down to a single final race. Getting to the final might have been smooth sailing or a struggle, but as the cars line up for the last time, the opportunity is anyone's. The same can be said in endurance racing. An unfortunate overnight incident can be overcome with the benefit of time. The rallycross final begins. Sfera jumps the start, his hopes of victory dashed. Bucky, on the other hand, starts his climb from the back of the grid. From ninth, he makes steady passes and climbs the leaderboard one by one. He's in seventh. In Germany, the race is in its final minutes. The STI team is quickly gaining, but it's the final lap. They've run out of time. Four laps into the final, and Bucky is up to six, directly behind series leader Scott Speed. Just as fast as hope can be gained, it can be lost. With nothing to lose, Bucky is at the limit and spins. The STI team crosses the line for the final time in Germany in fourth place. Apart from a stumble in the early morning, they were on pace to win. They can find a sense of accomplishment nonetheless. The new STI is seven seconds per lap faster than the previous car. It was a tough weekend for the Subaru teams. Neither walked away with the result they had hoped for. Well, I've had a really tough day today. The races haven't gone as we wanted. Uh, we get some good show. We get some big corner for the, for the crowd. A lot of blue smoke, kind of um, 
I'm sorry I didn't get to finish. I had, I enjoy luck, but I don't enjoy other people's luck <laughs> making my luck happen. Hey, you so. push the way you're still But the results betray their true performance. They leave confident, knowing they are contenders. I don't know, this is a heart, it's 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 Another race is always around the corner.